But today on CTV, we will continue with Ice Dance coverage. The original dance will continue, and there are the Canadian champs. Marie-France de Broy, Patrice Lozon. Their skates next on CTV from Halifax. Here are the leaders. Again, after the compulsory and the original dance. Weaver and Poge with the best original dance so far today, but that might be short-lived because here are the reigning Canadian champions, world silver medalists. And this is the first time in Canada, since Skate Canada, we get a chance to see the new original dance for Marie-France de Bray and Patrice Lausanne. Skating to the music Peadora and at Skate Canada, the uh, judges weren't particularly impressed with their original dance. So as you heard from them, they revamped, brought a new one, and won this portion of the competition, defeating the world champions in the original dance at the Grand Prix Final. Oh, yes. Nothing against any of the other competitors we've seen, but all of a sudden, it's like Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire just came to the ice, isn't it? Just a terrific program and performance choreography by David Wilson and also Julie Marcotte from Montreal. She lended a hand with that. And again, you can see what happens when you bring in the rhythm of the music and the melodies. They had the slow, deep edges and then the exciting, quick, fiery steps. And it uh, was just a wonderful, wonderful performance. That's the way you dance on skates. And up next, Tessa Virtue, Scott Moyer, World Junior Champions in second place right now. De Brian Luzon and uh, the team, and right behind there, you can pick yourself up. Oh, there he is. He's brilliant. 
One of the most brilliant choreographers in all of skating right now, David Wilson. David Wilson, and he first time choreographing Ice Dance with Marie France and Patrice. Now watch the use of Marie's skate on the, on the ice as she steps down now into a lunge and just drags the toe. And they use that feature throughout this dance, the work of the free leg on the ice. Let's take a look now at the step sequence. Not touching, now they keep up the speed and the energy. They keep the rhythm and mix it up a little bit. So it's a great variety of steps. You just don't get lulled into the melody. They snap you out of it. Strong first twizzle, a little off on the second. Won't matter here, but if you're competing for the world title, that can make the difference. Again, they had to kind of reach for themselves. Now watch how they mix it up with fast steps. Get going right into their lifts, which they are known for, probably the best lifts in the world. So they're gonna get high marks for transitions. That's how they weave the elements There's together, the difficulty around. between the elements. In their 30s, getting better as they get older. And in the last couple of years have really got it. And it's all because of the fact that they started to listen to themselves and their hearts and more so because they worked so hard. People do not understand how hard these two skaters have worked. Well, they gave up everything and just said, whatever we have to do to do it, and it's working. It is. Great marks. They want it to be over 60. And they're right on target for the top of the world with those scores.